Prince operates on the basis of seven principles. Those seven principles say that there must always be a business justification for a project. Those seven principles say that we should continuously strive to learn from experience, that the people following the business justification and using their experience have defined roles and responsibilities, that they manage and conduct the activities of the project on the basis of stages, each of which has defined tolerance levels, and that when those tolerance levels are under threat, we manage by exception. No news is good news is the other way of expressing that. And that all of this is only done in order to produce products, and that since the Prints Manual expresses what is generally applicable to all projects in all contexts, everybody's specific project and specific context will need the method tailored to the specifics. There are also seven themes which largely implement the principles. So the business justification is maintained, documented and supported and managed by the creation and progress of a business case throughout the life cycle of the project. The principles are further supported by the consideration of risk. The roles and responsibilities are expressed in organisation charts with reporting lines and delegated accountabilities. The creation of the project's products to the requirements of the customer obviously require an understanding of how to do testing and other quality activities. And we always, in a Prince project, are expected to follow a plan by tracking the progress that we've made and comparing that progress against the plan to understand whether we have achieved what we had expected to achieve or not. There are times when our project has achieved more or less or when we want it to achieve something different to originally envisaged and under those circumstances we need a process for change control or we need a theme for change control. Prince also recognises that many techniques are required to deliver projects but it only describes two for us. That's the product based planning technique and the quality review technique. So a Prince exam question is going to have to be about one or more of the seven processes, one or more of the 26 products, one or more of the nine roles, one or more of the seven principles, seven themes and two techniques and if it's not one of all of those then it must be something that came from the scenario and that's end of options. So here's a very simple thinking aid whenever you get an exam question and you think I wonder what the answer to that should be then think what process are they referring to? What products are they referring to? What people, which is a cheat for the roles, an even bigger cheat, what theme or theme are they referring to? What principles are they referring to? What techniques? And how does that apply to the scenario? So every question must be about a process, a product, people, themes, principles, techniques, and the scenario. And that's it. If you can't work it out from there, guess and move on. There's no negative marking, so guessing gives you the chance of a mark that you wouldn't otherwise have got.